Okay, so I want you to know that the goal is always to seek the will of God and to listen to God. God speaks. God going to talk to you. You need to listen to God. You see, there's a point in this journey where it just has to be you and God. Where God needs you to go away with him. And he needs you to go away with him because he doesn't want you influenced by anyone else. There's some things he needs to be able to deal with you on. There's some heavy stuff he needs you to work through. Yeah, some things you don't even know about, some things you don't even understand, some trauma you've experienced, some things that you've gone through that's affecting your current day, that's affected your past, that will be detrimental to your future, that the Lord is like, before I send you forward, I need to deal with this situation because this situation is something that if it continues, if it goes on, it will make it so that whatever I bring you into, Satan will use to tear it down. If you somebody that deals with fear and deals with rejection and you have all these issues because that's what you experienced heavily in childhood, all the devil needs to do is use offense and you'll walk and you'll run from whatever God gives you. So he needs to be able to deal with you and offense and trauma that you've experienced, right? There's some things that the Lord needs to be able to train you in. He needs to reveal your spiritual giftings and he needs to train and prepare you for your spiritual gifts that you have. There's some character things God got to work out in you. God got to take you real low so he could bring you high. Yeah, the host of the living armies makes warriors. He needs to make you a warrior. You see, there are things that God wants to do that's unique to you. That ain't nobody else going to understand. So, so many people depend on other people. You want people to explain what God's doing. You want people to confirm and validate what God's doing in your life. How? Behold, I do a new thing. Don't you perceive it? How they going to be able to do that? You see, people only know what they've experienced of God. When you include the fact that Satan is trying to deter you from things of God, and he going to use people to do it, why would you trust anybody else? It's a point where it really got to be just you and God. See, one of the things that you don't never do is put man's voice over God's voice. My sheep know my voice, a stranger, they will not follow. Why are you following after strangers? Yeah, if it ain't God's, it's a strange voice. What you got going on? You're not supposed to be following that. It don't say take up your cross and follow anybody. It say take up your cross and follow God. 
God going to have you do some stuff that don't make sense. And if you lean in on people, people will tell you that's not God. Look at Noah building the ark. What, was he supposed to get confirmation through somebody else that, yeah, you supposed to build <laughs> this boat because rain is happening that you ain't never seen before that's going to take out everything. It had to be him or God. Look at Abraham's journey. You going to kill your son? My God wouldn't do that. You got to follow God. Or was he supposed to get confirmation from Sarah, his wife? Hey, God told me, <laughs> I know I told you that you had to leave everything with me. You know, I know, I know the Lord told me that Isaac was going to be the promise. But listen, I got to go kill him. What you think? No, it's a point where you got to, it got to be just you and God. Elijah, hey, God told me that ravens was going to feed me. You think I should go? Stop listening <laughs> to other people and relying on other people to tell you what God is telling you to do. God will have you doing some strange stuff. That you can't lean on your understanding. If you can't lean on your own understanding, why are you going to lean on others? I couldn't tell my husband about a lot of the stuff that God had me do. He would have me committed. <laughs> but when I tell you what it did in me and through me, my goodness, I like the result. I like the woman that I am today. And it's because... I did what the Lord had me to do then. You see, it's a point where it just got to be you and God, where he's like, jump off the cliff. Because it's in the cliff that your miracle is going to take place. It's, it's in the flight that I'm going to do this major work in your life. It's in flight that what I placed in you was going to be extracted. And you running around here asking people if you should jump off the cliff, what you think they going to say? They don't want that responsibility. <laughs> they going to say no. It's not all evil intention too. Some of them just love you and they don't want you to suffer, but this is a call to suffering. They don't want you persecuted. They don't want you going through trials and testing. They don't want you going <laughs> through hardship. But this is a call to take up your cross. This is a call to die to yourself, to deny yourself. So even people that love you and have your best intentions will steer you away from the crushings that God will put you through, the testing that God will put you through, through the things that God will have you do. And radical faith to grow your faith, to increase your faith. So you got to trust God to the point where it's like, okay, God, I'm going to let it just be me and you. I can't talk to everybody about what we're doing. I can't tell everybody what we're doing. It just got to be a secret between me and you, a journey, an odyssey that you take with God and God alone and keep it between you and him. You talking to your pastor, you talking to your spiritual mothers, your spiritual fathers, you talking to all these people that ain't got no clue what God is doing in your life. And unless they redirecting you back to God to depend on God radically, they could be steering you astray because not everybody has that same understanding that God is doing a new thing in you and it may not make sense. And they got to continue to redirect you and lead you back to God. If you got somebody in your life that's not doing that and is playing the role of God in your life, you need to pray over that person. You need to take that person over to God and see what he wants you to do. There's a point in this journey where it got to be you and God and God alone. And you got to trust him. 
And you got to isolate yourself and God will isolate you so that you don't get influenced by others. And it is just you and him. Know that. 